Look at those yummy boys. Well, we're over, so that's no problem. Delicious. We're back in the kitchen. It has been raining for three years and the sun barely came out just now and so we decided we're gonna get outside and get grilling and I'm gonna show you guys how to make 15 minute pork ribs. These are salt and vinegar ribs with seedy hot honey and they're made with baby back ribs, which are these. And instead of like cooking them low and slow and braising them or smoking them over low heat, we're gonna cook them fast and dirty on a grill and kind of eat them the way you would eat like a pork chop. Things you'll need for this recipe, two racks of baby back ribs, some olive oil, chili flakes, some rice vinegar, honey, some kinds of mixed seeds. So I'm using sunflower seeds, pepitas, and sesame seeds, but you could use any mix of any kind of seed, really. Oh my gosh, I forgot my spices. Mustard, cumin, fennel, coriander. These are all going into the seedy hot honey, so it's kind of like a choose your own adventure type of seed. Salt, pep, and garlic. So first thing we're gonna do is get these seasoned because we want the salt to spend a little bit of time on the ribs before we hit the grill. So I'm gonna season them all over with salt really liberally. And we're just gonna let them sit for like 30 minutes while we prep the honey and get our shit together to get out on the grill. Salt and pep. So set those aside. So to make the seedy hot honey, you're gonna take three heaping tablespoons of your spices of choice. So I'm using mustard seeds, fennel seeds, cumin seed, and coriander seed. So whole spices here, because we want it to be like crackly and crunchy. So we're gonna keep them in their whole form. And then you also wanna pick out a couple of different kinds of, sorry, did I say seeds? Those are spices. Three, <laughs> three, he, uh, <laughs> three heaping tablespoons of spices. I'm using fennel mustard seed, which is a, it's called a seed, but it's a spice. Cumin seed, which is also a spice, and coriander seed. Okay, that's where the confusion came in. But they're technically, I would categorize those as spices, and then I would categorize these as seeds, because these are sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds. And you want about a third a cup total of the CD category. Taking my mixed spices, I'm throwing them in a dry pan over like medium heat, and I'm just gonna shake and shimmy and let them kind of toast dry in the skillet, but you want them to be moving around constantly so that they don't burn. And you'll start to smell them and you might see like little wisps of smoke come off the pan and that's how you'll know that they're toasted. Okay, so I start to smell it. I can see that the fennel is getting a little roasty toasty. And this is just helping to like activate the spices. They've been sitting in that jar. We want to toast them, bring out all their flavor. Okay, so here we go. Spices are going into the molcajete. You can see they're hot. And now seeds are going into skillet. So this is just a mix of three kinds. And I'm also gonna put chili flakes in here. So that's like a heaping tablespoon. So you can make it hotter if you like really hot honey. If you're not really into spice, you could hold back. So now we're gonna touch those things. And while we do that, we're gonna lightly crush our spices in the mocha hete. If you don't have a mocha hete or a um, mortar and pestle, a spice grinder would work. And if you don't have that, you could put them in a resealable bag and bash them with the bottom of a cast iron skillet. That's probably the most fun. But because I have this thing, it's like I'm not gonna not use it. And we don't want them to be finely ground. We still want them to have like coarse, crunchy texture because that's kind of what's gonna bring some contrast to the meat and they're gonna get basically like smothered in crunchy little bits and bobs. Okay, so these are toasted now because they're giving off some smoke. And so now the seeds are going in. Actually, no. Wrong. <laughs> oh God. Toasted seeds, toasted and ground spices. And then I'm gonna add two thirds of a cup of honey, which is probably all of this honey. And the heat from the spices and the seeds is gonna warm it up so that it can like kind of easily incorporate. And then a couple tablespoons of unseasoned rice vinegar, and that's just gonna make it vinegary and a little bit looser so that it's more drizzleable. 
Okay, that, some flaky salt. Always gotta season. So a couple pinches of flaky salt, and that's our seedy hot honey. Okay, so then lastly, before we go out to the grill, we're gonna make the vinegar marinade that we're gonna brush on the ribs as they're cooking. So I have three large garlic cloves and I'm just gonna grate them into some kind of a vessel that we can take outside. I'm drizzling in a couple tablespoons of olive oil and that's just enough to kind of like coat the ribs. And then a third a cup of vinegar. This is mostly a vinegar marinade because we wanna get some like bright acidity and bright flavor brushing on these fatty ribs because they're pork and they're fatty. And so we have to combat that in some way. And then we're gonna bring these out to the grill. But before we do that, we're just gonna cut these rib racks in between like every three or four ribs, just so that they're a bit more manageable on the grill. And that way you can kind of flip them around more easily. And if some of them are cooking faster than others, you can grab those. Okay, so we've got our marinade. We're gonna bring out a brush. And we're gonna go hit the grill. I have my grill preheated to medium. And that should feel like if you put your hand over, one, two, three, four, around five, like that starts to hurt. That's how I know it's like where it needs to be at medium. And then we're gonna throw these on, rib side down to begin with. And then we're gonna come in with our marinade and our trusty paintbrush. And we're going to baste them a bit. And make sure you're like stirring it up so you get all that good garlic on there. So if you've ever seen in like Carolina barbecue, they base with it, like they mop the meat with an apple cider vinegar mixture. This is kind of a similar vibe here, but we're not barbecuing, we're grilling. Okay, so now I'm gonna cover this for like five minutes and we're gonna take a look in a few. Okay, um, it hasn't been five minutes yet, but I'm gonna give it another brush just because we're trying to get that flavor and you can see they're still pretty raw, at least on top, but they're getting nice and charred underneath. We're gonna baste this second side now because we didn't get that yet. Mmm, look at those yummy boys. I'm gonna give them one more wash because we've got a little left. That flare up is just some of that oil hitting the fire. I'm gonna see what temp these are. We're going for like 175 in the middle. Well, we're over, so that's no problem. 190, you know, we're close enough. Okay, so these are looking good. They are sizzling, they are crisp. You got that good sizz? Uh, just like any meat, you'll wanna rest these for a couple mins. It's not gonna do you any harm. So you can use your fingers and feel like you can tell this has gives. And we just wanna cut in between the bones at the meat to separate them all into their ribs. Okay, so now we're just taking our hot honey and we're drizzling it all over the rib. And then we're just gonna serve the rest alongside so that you can dunk and slather and do whatever you wanna do with the remaining hot honey. Ooh. Ooh. And that's the ribs. Let's take a bite. It tastes so good. It was only on the grill for 15 minutes. Five minutes one side, six or seven the other, maybe another two here or there. Delicious. new microplanes on Amazon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't do another fucking video with these stall microplanes. Time to eBay? Yes, time to eBay. <laughs> <laughs>